Welcome back everyone, this is Dr. Lion. So um, I am at a stage in my life where I have been a little bit more conscious of how my body feels, what I'm going through, and quite frankly, I'm old enough that things are just slowing down. And so um, I keep a very active lifestyle. I, as I've mentioned a couple times now, I'm a doctoral student, but I also work a full-time job. I have to commute to my office three days a week. I work from home. I started a few companies, and so I am just super busy on top of wanting to make sure I share these videos out with folks. And so I've been researching vitamins, multivitamins, different life choices, diets, um, and something kind of caught my eye, and it is TRT, or Testosterone Repair Therapy. And I'll be, to be frank, I'll give Joe Rogan a shout out, um, because I actually found some of this information on, on some of his podcasts as I was researching the vitamins that he even takes just because um, I think he's a, a pretty great um, authority in the matter and so started researching it but one of the things that stuck out to me when Joe Rogan was talking was that if you're looking into testosterone repair therapy make sure that you go to a sports medicine doctor so I'm like okay this is just weird this is not just your typical vitamin multivitamin what's going on here so I did a little bit of research I am not an expert, but essentially, just like I'm sure like any type of therapy, I guess, um, I started reading what TRT helps to improve. And so a lot of the items that I found were stuff like mental acuity, acuity recovery, um, ability to lose weight easier, you know, just those things that start to degrade as you start to age. So did some research and I figured, you know what? this is worth looking into and so i found a place here in colorado i'll uh, i'll share the little link below to their company <coughs> sorry folks have a little call um but they're called renew vitality and so give them a call talk to one of their reps and um had, you know had a little info session and the first thing they do is they, they send you to get your blood work done and so i thought that was pretty cool okay well, you know, hey joe rogan said make sure you get blood work done <coughs> and so i got my blood work done um from them and so that was a good start then I received my results back and that was a little interesting sorry about that I had to pause for one second here technical difficulties I had to pull up my lab results <coughs> so um, I actually got my lab results done and it was, it was pretty interesting and I'll, I'll share some of this I might put it on the screen here but ultimately when it came to my testosterone I guess I'm at an average level level but then there's two levels that I guess they found abnormal and um, one of them is an FSH, and I looked some of these up, but I really cannot recall what they mean off the top of my head. Um, and then the other one was, um, sounds super funky, but a sex hormone binding goblin serum, whatever the heck that is. Ultimately, um, I had a chat with the sports med doctor that looks over this stuff with you, and uh, ultimately he's like, hey, you know what, you're a candidate, this is probably gonna do well. But being pessimistic as I am, I did a follow-up with my primary care physician as well, just to wanted a second opinion. So I actually went to, to speak with my primary um, care physician. <coughs> and what was interesting is she even caught, um, she mentioned that what she's seeing in my testosterone as far as being average, but then those other two areas that are FSH, which is high, and the sex hormone binding glob serum, was low and so um that actually caused her concern so she's like you know this is just um odd um and so i won't go into all the personal details but essentially there's something up with my testosterone level and so um in the meantime she's sending me to an <coughs> sorry about that she's sending me to an endocrinologist so um i'm gonna see them but it's like six month wait so in the meantime i figured hey sports med doctor said I qualify for the therapy. My primary is like, yeah, this probably will help you. She didn't want to give me the full sign off um, until I saw the endocrinologist, but I think there was enough there. <coughs> Sorry, folks, tickle. Um, there was enough there for me to be concerned. And so I decided, you know what? I'm going to try the therapy. So part of what I'm doing is I'm actually going to document this journey, right? And so what I did, as I mentioned, um, the company is Renew Vitality. I'll, I'll put their link in, uh, link in the description in case there's a uh, one of their offices near you. <coughs> but I got the packet in. And so the way this works, it's like a three-month supply. 
it was like 1600 bucks. And so it comes in this really discreet package here. Um, I literally, I haven't opened it. All I did was cut it, cut it just so I can save some time on the recording, but kind of this nice presentation here. <coughs> and so I figured I'd do a quick unboxing, just talking about what this is going to go through. Um, because I want to be able to document this process. Um, essentially, the box is three months worth of um, three months supply. <coughs> Sorry, this took three months supply for the testosterone repair replacement therapy um, and a growth hormone. And so um, there's kind of the sequence of weeks on and off, and ultimately you get three months. And then as you continue it, you get a hold of the company again, you re and then re up for another three months. I think typically what I even talked to the sports med doctor, they're saying, you know, you want to be on it for about six months. And then I actually do redo my labs. So again, kudos to Joe Rogan. Uh, these folks, you know, are still looking at lab work to make sure that things are looking good <coughs> on that. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> man, on that blood panel. So, um, got a hold of company, you know, they get my prescription from the doctor and essentially they send this, this packet. And it looks like basically this packet comes with hundred syringes. It looks like. And then this big blue bag. So we'll go through this real quick. <coughs> Take out the order and it looks like um, uh, Empower Pharmacy. So it looks like just a breakdown on what you get in here. It has a doctor's name on there. Um, alcohol, prep pads, syringes, needles. Uh, bacteria, bacteriostatic water, Sermorlin acetate, anastrozole, anastrozole, anastro, anastrozole, anastrozole, uh, testosterone, sio, sipionate, sipionate, and syringe. So, um, tongue twisters. Um, so that's all in there. Some breakdowns on use, directions, warnings. I will read all this, not on camera, obviously, but I am a nerd that really does look at <coughs> all the warnings and side effects to be able to monitor. Um, so there's a breakdown on what the bacteriostatic water is here. Talks about that. Um, another page talks about the anastrozole. So it um, talks about that. Another one talks about Sir, Sir Morlin, some Morlin. There we go, some Morlin. Talks about that, which actually is in the category of growth hormone. So I'll read through that. And then testosterone, uh, sapionate. So there you go. So instructions and breakdowns for all the meds, that's there. Again, I'm gonna read that on my spare time. We had the short needles. Um, I'll open this up as I'm chatting. The interesting thing is I've never given myself a shot. I am not afraid of needles, so hopefully that's not a big deal. But I think it's one thing to be on the receiving end of a shot and another thing to actually have to give yourself a shot. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, so let me pause for a second to see. <coughs> so many, many goodies here. Alcohol prep pads. Um, anastrozole. Looks like it was tablets. Then it looks like there is testosterone sapionate. Right there. Um, another one. Testosterone sapionate. Again, good thing. All looks like it comes from a pharmacy. Has my name. Has an RX number. Looks just like any medication you're going to get from a, um, a typical pharmacy. And again, I went to a sportsman doctor, so you have to get the prescription. <coughs> the company I go through, they handle the rest of that. So they get this all packaged up and sent out to you. So that's great. Um, here's the, oh, so in this bag here, looks like there's the bacteriostatic water and some moral in is in here. So that's all in there. As I mentioned, they send you a three month su supply. <clears throat> so the whole this whole kit and this whole process is about three um, three months long for 12 weeks um, syringes Another testosterone spionate I hope I'm saying that right. I 
think so. If you say it with confidence, people believe you. Syringes. Okay. Like I said, I am not afraid of needles. But this sucker is intimidating. Let me see if I can get that on camera. Like, uh... Reflection. If I get an angle. There you go. Look at that. Look at that sucker. That's, uh... That's intimidating. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. That, uh... You know, goes in there pretty deep. And the last one here. <coughs> um, mini syringes. Okay. So, lots of stuff there. So ultimately, I want to start documenting the series. Again, I just got this stuff, so I'm going to read through all the, all the documentation. I am just one of those nerds, as I mentioned before. I'm just a research person. So, <coughs> going to look through all of this start figuring out you know what it takes to, to start this process some of these meds are like injecting you know twice a week another one is you know pill twice uh one pill twice a week um, so yeah lots of stuff here <coughs> but this is day one so i haven't even started any of this i'm gonna read through all this stuff ideally let's see it's it's 7 15 here at night um i don't know if there's instructions on when you're supposed to take this so either today or tomorrow i'm gonna start it so this is part of that journey. So for any of any folks that are considering this, um, kind of talk through my process. I was concerned with some of the things I was experiencing. You know, found a TRT um, um, <coughs> clinic here in Colorado. Got a blood panel. Numbers, you know, looked like they were abnormal. I even looked up, you know, some of that stuff online and like say like, okay, what is this FS, FSH thing? And you know, it talks about like the abnormality where you're high or low. And so, um, really does seem like I done some of my homework talk to my primary they feel like there's something going on so i'm optimistic that you know this is really going to help improve those areas where i feel like, really feel like there's a deficiency so this is day one uh, maybe day zero if i'm not able to take this today if i do it tomorrow but i will keep on recording and keep everyone posted thanks for now